Thanks so much for joining me on the Slice of Healthcare podcast. How are you today? Good, Jared. Thanks so much for having me. Let me just start by saying happy Doctor's Day to all of our doctors that are out there. Thank you all so much for everything that you do. I think that, you know, at times people don't truly realize what doctors do, what they go through, the toll that it takes on them and their families. So as a tribute to our doctors, we put together a video that we'll have posted on our website and also on LinkedIn and Twitter. And I know, Jared, that you mentioned that we'll put a link uh, below the podcast here so that people can take a look at it as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll put it in the show notes. And then when we post it on the on every channel, it'll be available for, uh, for everyone to click and, and check out. So yeah, thank you for doing that. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Well, I think we should dive right into it. I'd love if you could tell the audience a little bit about your background, kind of how you got to where you are today, and then we can talk about uh, Vituity and Inflex Health after that. Yeah, I, I love that. I love that question, Jared, because I, I firmly believe that everything that we go through in our life really contributes to who we are at this very moment and, and really prepares us for what we're going to do next. So I actually divide my background into three parts. Um, first, a very interesting childhood where I had my first interaction with our healthcare system. Second is my schooling where I had my first introduction to the business of medicine. And then third, the very exciting last decade I've had with Vituity and Inflect Health. So starting, starting with our childhood, I was uh, born and raised in New York. Now, when most people hear New York, they think of New York City. However, um, where I lived was about as far away from New York City as you could get and still be in New York, right on the border of Pennsylvania and Western New York. Very, very rural area. I grew up on farmland and I guess one could say that we, we kind of played farmer a little bit as we had chickens and goats and horses and grew our own fruits and vegetables. Uh, also did our own hay and cut our own firewood to heat, heat our house with. I, I think that sort of lifestyle really instills at a very young age, a really strong work ethic. Uh, very, very early on. And clearly the real farmers of the world and the other manual laborers deserve the utmost respect for what they do. I think it's a lifestyle that most folks don't really understand how difficult it is. Uh, so that's a little bit about my childhood. I really had my first interaction with our healthcare system in my childhood as well at the young age of one when I required surgery. Now at one year of age, you clearly aren't going to remember anything uh, about what happened to you. Um, however, what I do recall is the profound impact that that experience had on my parents. And they frequently recalled that experience throughout my childhood. So the surgery went well. However, after the surgery, somehow the hospital misplaced me. And so they couldn't tell my parents for several hours if I was okay, where I was, if, uh, what had happened, uh, et cetera. And now as a parent myself, I can see why that had such a profound impact on my parents. So not too surprising to anyone in the healthcare industry, but the system was broken. And although we've made great strides over the four decades since then, there's still obviously a lot of improvements to be made uh, within that industry. So back to schooling, I was homeschooled up until eighth grade, at which time I went to the local public school. And given how rural the area was, I only had a couple, a couple dozen kids in my entire class. After high school, I went to nearby Houghton College, which was a small liberal arts college, and then on to the nearest medical school, State University of New York at Buffalo. So while in medical school, I had my first real introduction to the inequities in our healthcare system as I drove through the impoverished areas of Buffalo surrounding the medical school campus. One of my medical school classmates, uh, Gerard Silva, and I thought about it and said, you know what, we, we can and we really should do something to support this community that surrounds the, the medical school. So we decided to form a free medical clinic. We began contacting churches, community centers, trying to locate a space for it. We worked with pharmaceutical companies, local businesses, other nonprofits to secure funding, and then had to find like-minded family physicians to be our supervisors as they donated their time. We recruited additional medical students and obviously wanted this clinic to go into perpetuity. So put a structure in place that allowed after we left and after our, our other uh, classmates had left for it to continue. And uh, although it's moved locations a time or two, it continues to this day, continues to do great work, has actually grown upon it. So this clinic was really my first introduction to the business of medicine. 
uh, led me to finish, uh, to take a year off of uh, medical school, actually obtain a master's in public health, healthcare management. Subsequently, I finished my medical school and then uh, my emergency medicine residency training at Los Angeles County Harbor UCLA. And then for the last exciting decade, uh, I completed a healthcare management fellowship with Vituity, also became boarded in clinical informatics. Been really fortunate to be with Vituity for the last 14 years. Currently practice in the emergency department and via telehealth. And uh, throughout my career at Vituity, I've had numerous different roles, including um, where I am currently, which is chief transformation officer and also help lead our Inflect Health. Thank you for that introduction. Yeah, and, and we're, uh, we're a little familiar with Vituity, our audience, uh, after also speaking with uh, your colleague, Andrew Smith, uh, a couple episodes ago, which was great to be able to chat with him, a great guy, uh, gave us a pretty good overview of the company. And one of the things that I guess we, we can go into in a little bit that you and I really want to focus in on is, you know, we can talk more about your role a little bit at Vituity and that chief transformation officer, like what that is, what kind of a day-to-day -day looks like for you. And then we can really, I guess, maybe focus more of the time on uh, your role within Inflect Health, uh, because Andrew already gave us a pretty good overview of uh, Vituity. Um, but so I guess let's start with that. Can you tell us more about this role and kind of what it entails? Sure. Just, just to recap a little bit on Vituity um, for your audience who might not have seen uh, Andrew's podcast. Vituity is one of the nation's largest and most successful multi-specialty medical groups and medical management companies. We are Physician-led, wholly physician-owned democratic partnership. We have the honor of providing care for over 7 million patients all, each year from all across the country. We have an amazing group of thousands and thousands of physicians and advanced providers uh, from nine different specialties. So that's a little bit about uh, Vituity as an, as an organization. I'm super proud of the organization, what they've done over the last 45 years. In my role as Chief Transformation Officer, I, I really divide it into three different categories. I, we, we focus on innovation and transformation that, we, that enhance our core business within uh, Vituity. These are things we do, such as providing our local frontline providers innovation grants. Uh, a lot of times what we found is the best innovations are those that are coming from the front lines that are living it each and every day. So they have a great idea. We provide some funding to do that. And then we also provide some resources, some infrastructure, some support to make their idea come become a reality. And then we try to scale that across our organization and outside of our organization. And that's one of the areas we focus on, on enhancing, enhancing core business. Uh, the second area that I focus my job on is adjacent innovation and transformation work. So this is where we've done things such as developed two qualified clinical data registries, which are CMS approved, that allow us as an organization and other organizations who report through us as well to report our provider specific quality uh, and performance measures. Things in the adjacent realm also include us forming our telehealth uh, practice line. I remember when we first started five years ago, we'd be excited if we saw you know, a patient a week via telemedicine. And now we're seeing thousands and thousands of patients a day. We'll see more than a million patients via telemedicine this year. Uh, also in this bucket of adjacent innovations is the work that we've done to be, begin and develop our behavioral health practice line and something that Vituity has recognized across the country for our work with behavioral health. Something that clearly coming out of this pandemic is gonna be more and more crucial. Also work around the telemedicine program uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the neurology program that we've developed, including tele, telemedicine within that neurology program. So that's a little bit about the adjacent work of my job. And then the transformational work, which is super, super exciting, which is really where Inflect Health comes in. That's where, you know, we're partnering with early stage and also super, super large um, tech companies to really drive transformational change and innovation within the healthcare industry. Yeah, I think a lot of people that either think of themselves as innovative or, or want to be innovative hear that title and they, they salivate because that's like the coolest title uh, role I think that a lot of people can have. Like you're, you're at the forefront of innovation and change and helping these organizations um, really take, take their, like their practices and how they do business to a whole nother level, right? Really moving the needle forward. So uh, we thank you for, for all that you do for the state of healthcare and, and innovation and transformation. Um, 
so, so thank you for, for that uh, explanation. Uh, I'd like to kind of switch focus a little bit now, if we can talk more about also your role at Inflect Health, uh, a little bit more of Inflect Health, kind of what you look for and a lot of the companies that you end up uh, it, like investing in, partnering with, and uh, we can go from there. Sure, great. Yeah, so uh, my role at Inflect is as CEO. Uh, let, let's just briefly um, review a little bit about what it, Inflect is and, and why we formed Inflect. We truly believe that healthcare um, is in desperate need of an inflection point, and uh, that, hence the name Inflect Health. And uh, we, we believe and, and have demonstrated that we can really be that catalyst for healthcare transformation. Within Inflect, we have an amazing team of physicians, nurses, business leaders, who all, just like myself, have a personal passion, personal stories for driving transformational change within the industry, and also have a, a proven track record of producing those inflection points. Now, anyone who has tried to innovate within healthcare, and I think, Jared, you touched on this a little bit um, with, with how exciting you know, innovation and transformation is within healthcare, Anyone who's tried to innovate within healthcare knows how hard, how, how difficult of an industry it is to innovate within. It seems very different than the rest of the industries that many of us have experience with. And, and there's just so many players uh, within the industry and so many rules and regulations and the government's involved, uh, et cetera. So at Inflect, what we're really, really proud of is that we're able to connect innovators and investors with the key stakeholders within the industry. Because if you're not connected, you're not gonna be successful. So we're able to connect them with these key stakeholders, which include clinics and hospitals and health systems and payers, administrators, physicians, nurses. And of course, most importantly, are the patients, which is what we do all of this work for. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, no, yeah done a lot of research on Inflect Health, love what you guys are doing. We've had a couple of your portfolio companies on the podcast uh, and, you know, intend to ideally have all of them on, right? Because if, uh, if you're investing in them and working with them, uh, you need them as innovative. And everyone that I've spoken with is innovative and doing some pretty cool things in healthcare. So uh, yeah, thank you for those introductions and look forward to continuing talking with your portfolio companies. Yeah, you, for sure. Can you share a couple of things you're really... I guess both with Fituity and Inflect Health, if you had to kind of summarize uh, a few of the things that you're really looking forward to as you kind of move forward over the next, you know, either this year or the next several years. Yeah, so I think one of the main things that, that I'm personally excited about, and I know we're excited about at Inflect and we're excited about with Vituity as well, is meeting patients where they are. You know, so often uh, traditionally in healthcare, we have had a one location many patients model, right? So we're either it's a physician's office or it's a hospital and you have one location and all the patients have to come to you to receive healthcare. And, and I think the world's changing. We're seeing this and it's going to change in the future from this one location, many patients model to a one patient, many locations model, right? One patient have many, many different ways to deliver care, many different modalities to deliver care to that patient. And our goal, as I mentioned previously, is to meet patients where they're at, whether that's in their home, whether that's in a skilled nursing facility, whether that's in a physician's office, whether that's in a higher acuity setting, such as the hospital. And so what we're really excited about is working with companies that are making that become a reality. And so we, we have some of our own sort of stealth startups within the organization that we're working um, to develop to make that become a reality. But we also have excited company, exciting companies as well. I mean, we've talked about Decoded Health. Uh, and we've talked about June Motherhood. I actually think you had Tina, the CEO of June Motherhood on. Curve Health, I think you had Curve Health's CEO on. A company that is really looking to meet patients where they're at in the skilled nursing facility. Another company of ours uh, uh, in our portfolio is SciFox, which is really looking to highly accurate produce laboratory testing in a form factor that allows it to be delivered to the patient's home. Alertive is another one. I'm not sure if you've had them on yet or not. Uh, I think you did. Narav was on with you. Um, and Alertive, really a remote patient monitoring platform, again, allowing care to be delivered where the patient is located. 
Yeah, it's uh, I, I like it's a wide variety too, mm-hmm. all in different areas of healthcare. Yeah, we've actually had you know it, I I think back a little bit too. We've actually had a lot of them uh, already on the podcast, and I'm thinking about a couple of the other ones you said, and I have you know scheduled interviews with them to to go through and do some episodes with them. So I'm excited. Great. Um, so just so the audience knows too, we had. We had Andrew on, we had you on. We're hoping this is a basically a recurring thing where we have you and other members of your team to talk about kind of their their roles, what they're looking forward to, kind of what the future of healthcare looks like. So this was great to be able to get you on and talk more uh, with you about your roles and kind of what you're excited about and look forward to continue building great content together that uh, we can release to uh, to everyone that's interested in kind of innovation. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thanks so much for having me, Jared. We, we all know what makes us special is our people. And so having some more of our people on, I, th- I think you'll realize uh, how special they are, like we already know. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being a guest. Yeah, thanks, Jared.